So hello guys, welcome back. So now that we have compiled our custep and we have already installed Ubuntu, we have put all the parts successfully. If you haven't known how to place your parts permanently through your Linux portal, so you have to go and check the short video that I recently uploaded under custep playlist. Now for you to run custep, you need input files, cell dot cell file and dot parameter file so dot param not parameter so for you to run for the param file so if you open this this dot cell file as you can see the type is cell and param so the cell file open it it will be like this so let me close and then i open it again so you find that it's like this so these are the lattice par parameters so 2.54 this is the unrelaxed structure so you want to relax it and then now we have the fractional coordinates so as you can see 0 3 3 and so on and so forth we have the symmetry generate and we have the kmp grid so this will generate the k points now for us to view this is just a simple there is no we have not put the pseudo potentials which we'll do in part two of this series or this part now we'll do in part two of this series so now we want to see how this cell looks like so you have to close that you can use vesta or jmol but for me i prefer vesta because vesta worked well so just drag and drop this so as you can see here we have two atoms so if we open this you find that we have titanium and titanium so these are two atoms and they are like this so so these are their positions so where where they are located in the lattice structure are the fractional coordinates 0 0.3 0 0.66 0 0.25 and so on and so forth now the lattice structure the lattice dimensions so we have a b as you can see in the a and y axis here so i have a b and c as you can see so let me just put it like that so as you can see it's like that so it's okay the visualization is okay so you can even create using this and have your coordinates and export them but i'll show you a good way or a faster way of doing this so now let us open the param file so param file our task is to do geometry optimization so for any calculation in cast step elastic constants anything you must do geometry optimization first and then the comment this one i added it so that can be printed in the final report and then cut off energy 700 ev so this determines the computational power or the computational time that you'll have to do but because we have a very only two atoms in our structure so we, 700 ev is not bad functional we've used pbe si scf cycles 100 calculation stress true optimization strategy speed 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 is ideal when you want to increase the as the name says the speed of your calculation and if you have more ram but if you are doing maybe 200 500 atoms you might want to put default so that castep itself can choose whether to use to use the maximum ram or to use also to page some memory on the disk so if you have very small amount of ram you can always use memory when you put here memory the calculation will be slower but the calculation will be complete if you put speed and um, you have small amount of ram or your ram capacity is small the calculation will fail so default is always the best now this other part I don't know about it num dump cycle but this is just an example i borrowed from castep website so now there are more more things that we can add here but for now because we are doing a simple calculation this is okay so we close this and now the next thing that we want to do we want to check if everything is okay so we'll do a dry run the dry run is good because it will tell you the minimum amount of ram that you require and also if the structure is okay so the minimum ram requirement usually what it gives you just multiply it by three or four sometimes so and it's or sometimes 1.5 it's, it's just an approximate so let us do our first run so we navigate to where our folder is so our folder is in custep so let us do that Now we check what we have in this folder. We have ti.cell. So we want to do a dry run. So we just do mpi. 
So I like to do MPI run because it uses all the processors. So MPI, and then we say custep dot MPI. I, I think dry run was yes like that. I hope it is doing the dry run. Now our dry run has completed successfully. So as you can see, so let us, we have opened this file. So let us see, let us go through the file. So as you can see, the comment that I said calculated by DM FEA. And now we go directly all the way down to see if everything is fine. So as you can see, we have dry run finished, no problem, found with input file. So these are good way of checking whether you can meet the minimum requirements. So the minimum RAM that is required per process so per process, I don't know which process, how many processes would be run, but maybe you can expect to, to get more requirements than this after the final calculation. So it's around 700 MB. So and you, are, you have been told requirements will fluctuate during the execution and may exceed these estimates. So the bond length, nothing because we have not done any calculation. So now we do the actual calculation. So as you can see also, there is another .usp file here. So this file has been fetched from the libraries by Castep itself. So here, this file, it depends. Because we did not specify in our param file the type of pseudo potential that we want, ultra soft pseudo potential. So Castep by default, it takes this type, but we'll know how to specify later and have minimal, minimum cut off energy hence reducing the ram requirement so we want to do now the actual calculation so let us go back to ubuntu and now do we just write mpi run custep dot mpi ti so now this one will take a bit of time so we can open the task manager performance yeah so as you can see ram is 6 gb and it has told us 0 0.6 gb so that was just an approximate so 6 gb is the one that's used currently here yeah so we wait so now our calculation has completed successfully so now we have reached now the third part that step of doing a calculation so after the calculation has completed you will have these other files that are here so as you can see you have material studio here file so it's because i have material studio installed so we have to op open this custom file and then we see what is in the report so as we can see it has been compiled for linux default run now all the way down yeah so as you can see the peak memory use is 1 gb that is 1 gb so that is okay so it it's about three to four times around not three to four times around 1.5 or so so the rating is like that so we want to see now the that is parameters so we have 2.938 and 4. Point Four six. So as even you can see, the we have even the density of titanium is four point five seven. As you can see, even the GPA is given here. The density is almost as close to pure titanium, which is four point five. But we'll see how we can improve these lattice parameters because the one for pure titanium is two point nine five, and this one is around four point six eight something. So we are going to do some calculations later and see how we can improve this accuracy to as close as possible to the commercial purity titanium so that is basically it we have finished the first part of the tutorial so if you like this video please consider subscribing and if you are new to the channel please feel free to comment ask more questions 
and for those who are still doing DEM, maybe I can help on a few things. You can always comment and I'll always reply. Yeah, thank you. See you on the next part.